Article 29. Shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $20,000 to be placed in the Hampton Conservation Commission Fund? This fund is to be this fund is used to acquire, maintain, improve, protect, or limit the future use of or otherwise conserve and properly utilize open spaces and conservation easements in Hampton in accordance with RSA 36A sections 1 through 4 inclusive. Recent acquisitions such as the Bachelor Farm Conservation Easement has significantly reduced the size of the fund and the goal is to return the fund to adequate levels to enable the, con to enable the Commission to conserve additional lands on behalf of the Town of Hampton. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0. Recommended by the Budget Committee 7-2. Fiscal impact note 2018 tax impact on 20,000 is six-tenths of one cent per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 29? Moved by Mr. Bridal, seconded by Mr. Waddell. Is there someone who would like to speak on Article 29? Ms. Renault. Barbara Renault, 37 Toll Farm Road, and current chair of the Conservation Commission. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the voters uh, for the continuing support that we've had over the years for this article. Last year, it passed by a vote of 78% approval. Um, just as an FYI, in the past year, uh, what we did was replace the Ice Pond Dam. And I want to note that with the support and ingenuity of town management and public works, we were able to get that done for about $46,000 um, after we had received bids a couple of years before for in excess of $100,000. So we got that done, but that did deplete our fund, uh, our conservation fund, um, substantially. So we ask for your continued support this year. Uh, as we try to rebuild this fund so that we can protect more land and ease the tax burden on the citizens. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Renault. Uh, Mr. Bryle? Yes, I, I'd, I'd like to support this article. You know, when you look at the, the mill pond dam, uh, the ice pond dam, you also look at Bachelor's Field, you also look at the herd farm, and see the open a a access we have to these properties. I think it only enhances our town. I think it's a well-funded and I think we all ought to support it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bridal. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Ken Hanalt, 174 Ashworth Ave. Quick question. Uh, what's the current fund balance? Does anybody have that number? Does anyone have a number of the current conservation fund balance? J. Diener, Conservation Commission. Um, our current balance is, I believe, about $120,000. All right. Thank you. Approximately. And, well, my point of asking is uh, open space is important for things like recreation, aesthetics, tourism. I mean, we have a problem with flood flooding, so, you know, preserving open space helps alleviate flooding. Um, you know, and the aesthetics is part and quality of life and what draws people to Hampton, and that's one of our largest, you know, revenue generators in the town. So I think uh, not only do, do I support this, I, I would propose we need more money in that fund because when parcels become available, they don't stay on the market long. You have to be able to react quickly. And $120,000 doesn't really give you much flexibility. I, I would wonder if this group would support raising, doubling that money to uh, $20,000. I mean, if you think about what it is to your tax rate, it's, you know, it's a couple bucks a year. It really doesn't matter for the individual homeowners. It's not a big m money, but an extra 20000 a year would give the uh, Conservation Commission more flexibility when, when those choice parcels come on market and become available. So if, if that's a question, you would have to make that in the form of an amendment that you seek to amend this amount from 20 to 40, and Mr. Page um, would have that, and then we'll have to seek a, um, see if there's uh, a second for that um, request. So why don't we start right there. Is there, Mr. Cushing, do you want a second? The, uh, yes, all right, so you have a second. So why don't you just write, uh, change 20,000 to 40,000, if you would sign it, uh, and then we'll speak to it. Yep. 
All right. Thank you very much. So we have an amendment on the floor to increase the amount in Article 29 from 20,000 to 40,000. Is there anyone, and that's been moved and seconded, is there anyone who wishes to speak to the amendment, just the amendment, just to increasing uh, 20,000 to 40,000? Okay, we will. Mr. Jones. Thank you. This is very interesting, you know, just a couple of years ago, for many, many years, we were putting $10,000 into this fund. And a couple of years ago, we decided, well, since we always voted in favor of it, why don't we double it? And now, for the last couple of years, we've been putting $20,000 in. And now, I guess the same kind of thinking is taking place. Well, see, since we passed it every year for the last few years, why don't we double it again? Make it 40000 And we'll pass it for the next couple of years, and we'll be here in just a few years from now, and we'll say, well, gee, let's double it again to 80000 Where do we stop? I hear the argument that we need to put money aside just in case an opportunity arises. Well, geez, you've got to have money aside in case an opportunity arises. That's clearly true. But remember where this money's coming from. It's coming from the taxpayer's pocket. Apparently... We seem to forget that the taxpayer, too, needs to put money aside just in case something comes along. Now we hear the argument that open spaces actually make money. Soon we'll be hearing the argument that we'll make more money if we tear every structure down in town because the entire town will be an open space and we'll make more money. I mean, we're really getting to a point of absurdity with this. I am absolutely opposed to this amendment. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Anyone else wishing to be heard on the amendment? Ms. Bridal. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Nick Bridal, 225 Toll Farm Road. Mr. Jones said the commission uh, asked to double the amount, and I would like to say that the amendment that was proposed, I don't know your name, sorry, sorry if I did, wasn't to pay attention, but I don't believe, are you on the Conservation Commission? He's not. So this is a member of the general public that's asking to raise the amount of money to secure more lands. I think, um, I always joke about being the youngest member of this room, but the next generation of people who live in this town are an experienced, an experience-based group of people. A lot more people are going out and enjoying our out of doors. It's a lot more common now for the next generation of folks to go out for a hike on a Saturday. Let's Instagram a picture of a sunset from the beach. Let's, uh, instead of going in the city and spending a bunch of money, let's enjoy the time together in the town that we have. I think that uh, raising it to $40,000 helps encourage that generation to appreciate our town and appreciate the resources that we have and save it for the next generation of people. I think it'll go a long way. And uh, that's what I have to add. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Thank you, Mr. Bridal. Uh, anyone else on the amendment? Ms. Wolsey. At the risk of boring you, investment in conservation land is the best investment we can make. I have a horror of these developers who are coming in and basically raping the community. We have got to invest in conservation land. This is an excellent suggestion, and I support it. Thank you, Ms. Wolsey. Uh, anyone else wishing to bear Mr. Diener? Hi, Jay Diener. Um, the town clearly values open spaces and conservation land. I think if we weren't here today and if we were over at Ice Pond, we'd see a lot of people out there ice skating on the pond. Um, people use Batchard, Batchelder Field. People use the town forest. Um, research has shown that, in fact, open spaces do help to contribute to the finances of the town, that properties that are adjacent to open spaces sell for more than those that are not. Uh, when you have open spaces, you have less requirements for town services. So the cost for those properties is actually less than the cost for maintained and developed properties. So there's significant value to the town of open spaces. There is also the issue of flood storage. There is also the issue of how open spaces help to improve our water quality and the issue of wildlife, ha wildlife habitats. Um, we all like to see our wildlife um, 
in our woods and around our town, but if we don't provide them with a habitat, they'll disappear also. So I, I, think, I think I'm preaching to the choir to, to a great extent here. I think you all know that, that you do appreciate open spaces because you have supported these warrant articles in the past. And every time we've looked to preserve property, either through outright ownership or through conservation easements, we've had tremendous support from the town. Um, additionally, we are always seeking new opportunities to protect open spaces. Um, and as the gentleman earlier said, we never know when those are going to come about. And by building this fund up, what we can do is help to at least put down payments on those properties, if not pay for them outright, and reduce the size of a hit that we may have um, to ask for for the, for the voters. Uh, an example is the Ice Pond Dam, which we did just pay for out of the same conservation fund, so we didn't have to ask for any money, any additional funding from the town to rebuild that dam. So I support the amendment, and I greatly appreciate your support of the Conservation Commission's drive to protect and preserve open spaces in Hampton. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Diener. Uh, Mr. Waddell. Jim Waddell, 190 Kings Highway. I support conservation 100 percent, but I think it's dangerous to arbitrarily come to a uh, deliberative session and just arbitrarily say, let's double something. I think if the commission had wanted $40,000, they should have put that in the original uh, proposal, the original Warren article, I think. So I think you have to be careful because just walking up and saying, let's double something. So I'm, I'm opposed to it. Thank you, Mr. Waddell. Before, yeah, we got to follow our rule where we let everybody else speak before somebody speaks a second time. So is there anybody who hasn't spoken yet on the amendment? All right, so I'm going to have the two of you speak on the amendment, then I want to take a vote. Real quick. Real yes. quick, please. Thank yes. you. Really quickly, the Conservation Commission is being conservative, and I'm not fond of uh, appropriating a lot of money, but this pays us Buying a piece of land is very expensive and more expensive as time goes on. This is a tremendous investment in our community, and I thoroughly, ex uh, absolutely support it. Okay, so we're going to finish up where we started. Go ahead, and uh, then we'll take a vote. You know, there's lots more things coming to this town. New condos, new buildings, new sewer plants, all this stuff. The only thing we'll never have more of in this town is land. And once it's gone, once it's developed, it will never be open space again. So that's, that's why I think it's important. And if you think of what, it, try and find a piece of land you could buy in this town for $120,000. There isn't one. So it's, it's, um, having that amount of money in the fund is practically useless. And on the other side, there's also matching funds. The state has matching funds. Federal has matching funds. You have to have the money to, to free up those matching funds. I think it's a worthwhile investment. I love open space. I love near, living near open space. I think it preserves the quality of the town. And, you know, if we let the developers have their way, every square inch of this town will be paved over. Sir? Thank you. Oh, last name spelling H-E-N-A-U-L-T. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're ready for a vote on the gentleman's amendment uh, to increase the figure in the article from $20,000 to $40,000. So if you are in favor of the amendment, you will raise your voter card. Down card. Opposed? Okay, so we're going to take a vote, and if I can have my assistance, Mr. Page... Mr. Ross, nice to see you. Uh, Mr. Mosher, Mr. Silva, if you could, among yourselves, divide up the room. If somebody can take the top, uh, maybe Ralph, if you could take the top area. And then Mr. Ross and Mr. Uh, Page and uh, Mr. Mosher can take the bottom area. And I'm going to ask you to keep, if you're in favor of increasing to 40000 please raise your voter cards. Keep them up. Make sure that the person assigned to your section has seen how you're voting. Hello. 
Mr. Ross, if you could give your number to Mr. Page, and then we'll – all right, down cards, and um, in a moment we'll ask for those who are opposed. Can we count the stage? <coughs> all right. We've got two on the stage. Three, four. All right. All opposed to the amendment, raise your voter card, please. Thank you. So the amendment has passed 29 to 20. So Article 29 is now amended to reflect an increase to $40,000. Is there any further discussion? We've had significant discussion on the article. And it will now move to the ballot as amended, Article 29 amended from 20,000 to 40,000. On 